Hello Scale Modelers from YouTube, and welcome to my channel. This is an update video for the 2023 Pro Street Group Build. The group build is hosted by Dylan at NYS Modeling, and in the description, I have a link to the Dylan's introduction video with the rules for the group build that started on the July 1st and will run until January 1st, 2024. So, if you would like to participate, there is still time. As I showed in the entry video, my choice is this 1967 Chevelle Pro Street. The kit is from AMT, number 876-12, in 125th scale. But now, let me show you the progress I've made on my build so far. So, starting by the engine, I painted orange the engine block, the cylinder heads, and the oil pan. The valve covers were painted flat black and the transmission aluminum. The intake manifold, I kept it chrome, and I painted gold the carburetors, as well as the fan. I wired the engine with yellow spark plug wires, and the exhaust collectors were painted white, with the mufflers red. Then, I weathered the exhaust system, to give it a dirtier appearance. In the chassis, I applied first a black primer, then I masked the interior floor area, and painted the rest with a light coat of the body color to keep some shadowing. The color that I choose for the body was the Tamiya TS-75, Champagne Gold. All the interior parts, like the rear panel, were painted beige, with the Chevrolet letters, as well as the trims painted silver. The interior side panels were also painted beige, with the trims and handles painted silver, and the panel lines of the doors in these side panels were black washed with the Tamiya panel line accent color black to give them some depth and emphasis. For the front radiator support, as well as for the firewall, I also applied a black primer base and a light coat of the body color. The radiator was painted flat black, dry brushed with silver, and with the top painted gold. The firewall elements were detail painted with flat black, magnesium, and gold. The dashboard was also painted beige, with the front area silver. I placed the gauge decals, and highlighted some other details of the instrument's panel, using the Tamiya panel line accent color black. The steering wheel was painted to simulate wood grain, with the center spokes silver. In the same way, the bucket seats were painted beige, with the built-in seatbelts painted red and the seatbelt buckles painted silver. I assembled all the roll cage parts together, and painted it aluminum. The front grille was washed with Tamiya panel line accent color black, and the turn signal lights were painted clear orange, with a permanent marker pen. In this phase, on the rear bumper, I just painted white the rear lights, with a gel pen. As I said before, the body color is the Tamiya TS-75, Champagne Gold, which was applied over gray primer. After dry, I painted all the body and hood emblems, as well as door handles and keyholes with silver. Additionally, I used the Tamiya panel line accent color black as well as clear red on the flags of the front side emblems, to give them some more realism. Finally, I blackwashed the grill near the front window, as well as the panel lines of the doors, and of the trunk lid, also with Tamiya panel line accent color black. The chassis is now finished. All the interior parts, the engine, the wheels, as well the underside chassis elements were put together. 
The wheels were clear coated with matte varnish, and I used the Tamiya panel line accent color black to highlight their interior details and give them a more realistic look. With these simple actions, my idea is to give the rims an aluminum aspect as well, better than the original chrome, as they came with the kit. To complete the engine bay, I installed the white liquid reservoirs, the battery, the radiator hose, the velocity stacks, and I scratch built a coil to connect the wire from the distributor. For the interior, I also scratched built a fire extinguisher, to give this area a personal touch. Underside, the front suspension elements, the transmission crossmember, the differential, as well as the willy bars were painted red, and the drive shaft was painted magnesium. The body is also finished, I'm just waiting for the clear coat to dry well before proceeding with the final assembly. Before applying the clear coat, I used metal foil on all window trims and windshield wipers, installed the side mirrors, as well as the chrome side bars, and placed the red strip decals. In the hood, I installed the chrome grills and used the Tamiya panel line accent color black to highlight the louvers of these grills, and I painted with flat black the underhood insulation areas. On the front bumper, I placed the license plate decal and installed the four headlight lenses. Likewise, on the rear bumper, I placed the license plate decal and installed the two taillights. Okay, that's all for this update. The next video for this build will be the last one as all that remains is the installation of the windows and the final assemblies. So far, I'm happy with the result, I hope you like it too, and stay tuned for that reveal video. Once again, many thanks to Dylan for hosting this group build. Thanks to all my subscribers, and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and comment down below, with any question or feedback. See you in the next video.